Welcome to math with Millie and Ziggy. Yes, and Ziggy. Today we're going to learn how to translate math language into algebraic form. We're speaking a Dutch? No. We're going to translate math words into number form. What do you mean? For example, if you wanted to say twice a number, you'd write 2x, right? Two times some number. Another example would be five more than a number. How would we write that? Hmm. Five more than a number? We could say x is the number, and we would just add five. So x plus five. Right. So what about three less than a number? The number would be represented by x. So it would be x minus three. You're getting it. Great job. What about this one, Ziggy? What's half of a number? Oh, great. You expect me to know that one? Okay, I'll tell you. It would be x one half. x would be the number, and putting the one half after it means it would be x times one half. My turn. I'm going to give you one, Millie. What's the product of a number and seven? Hmm. Good one, Ziggy. The product of a number means multiplication of a number. So the product of a number and seven would be seven X, seven times X. Yep. Okay, last one, Ziggy. And this one's a doozy. How would you write this in algebraic form? 17 is five more than twice a number. You're just trying to get me to turn into a Hulk. Don't make me angry. Okay, so we'd put 17, right? Uh, 17 is. That means that we'd put an equal sign. So 17 equals. And then we put in the rest. So 17 is five more than twice a number. So 17 equals 5 plus 2x. 2x means twice a number, right? We said that earlier. 2x means two times a number. So the answer would be 17 equals 5 plus 2x. Yep. Great job, Ziggy. Now that we understand how to translate math language into algebraic form, let's see if we can create an equation to find an unstated number and then solve for that unstated number. Okay, if you say so. Okay, ready? Here we go. How would we translate this into an equation? If five less than twice a number is 17, what's the number? You're mocking me. Let's use the letter X to represent the unknown number. So put that X here. Okay, now let's just start writing out what we know. How would we write five less? Negative five. Right. So we have an X here and a negative five somewhere. We don't know yet. Let's just keep going. How would we write twice a number? Two X. We did that before. Right. Twice a number. We don't know the number, so it's the X, and we just put a two in front of it. So far, we have 2x and a negative 5. Okay, what else can we write? The sentence says 5 less than twice the number is 17. So we have a 17. We just don't know where it goes yet. Hmm, 17. Okay, that's everything. So now what? Well, let's read the sentence again. Now that we have all the math components, if 5 less than twice a number is 17. What's the number? So how should we put these components together so they mean what this sentence says? You're asking the wrong rabbit. Mm, I don't think you're a rabbit. You're a gopher. But anywho, uh, usually when you hear the word is, you know that means equals. So let's just stick an equal sign uh, in front of the 17. Okay, now what do we do, Ziggy? If five less than twice a number, hmm, well, let's put twice a number, the 2x at the start of the equation. And then let's put the minus five after it. So it's five less than twice a number. Right. 
Great job. I think you did it, Ziggy. Now we just solve for X. I remember how. We get the stinky X by itself. That's easy peasy. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. We've really enjoyed doing out the few.